Today we're doing a quick dive into three free ways to create beautiful images locally on your own computer. We'll do a quick comparison of three different stable diffusion GUIs that are available for free and compare the quality of their image generation. For a more accurate comparison, we'll be using the same seed, CFG, steps, dimensions, and prompt. First up is Focus MRE. This is a great GUI that is a branch of the original Focus with a few additional features. Its sleek and user-friendly UI makes this a good choice for beginner to intermediate users. For absolute beginners, we recommend the original Focus, but for users that are slightly more experienced, Focus MRE is an excellent choice. While having a streamlined and user-friendly UI, it does lack some of the functionality of the other two stable diffusion GUIs on this list. However, as of right now, the developers behind Focus and Focus MRE tend to provide regular updates, and that can sometimes bring new features and functionality. Next up we have Comfy UI. This is a powerful node-based tool that tends to be preferred by more advanced users. It may, however, be a bit more difficult to pick up and learn for beginners. While its node-based system can be complex and confusing at first, its customization and ability to do more complex tasks makes this a great option for advanced users, as well as those who want to dive more deeply into more advanced functions and workflows. Last but not least, we have WebUI Automatic 1111. While more complex and a bit less beginner-friendly than Focus, Automatic 1111 brings an easier and simpler workflow environment than Comfy UI and so sits comfortably between the two. While it might be a bit tricky to pick up for absolute beginners, it does offer a lot of functionality and the ability to do more complex tasks than Focus can do currently. Automatic 1111 also gets a lot of support from the community with many add-ons and extensions available. Leave a comment and let us know which is your favorite. We'd love to know what platform or UI you prefer to generate images with. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI-related content.